Are you looking for the best microphone for around $50 with a ton of features, high quality sound, plug and play connectivity, and a reputable name to help elevate your audio setup? Well, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this microphone right here, which is the Fine Fine A8. Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we talk all things video games and comic books. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another episode like this. Also, check out our Patreon, link will be down below for behind the scenes access. Now, quick disclaimer, this was sent to me from Fine Fine themselves, but all ideas and opinions in this video are completely my own, and I will have this microphone linked down below for an affiliate link so you can help support this channel and you can pick up this microphone for yourself. So, this is a USB microphone that retails for around $50, often is on sale for about $40 to $35. By default, it comes with a stand, the USB cable, and a really nice metal pop filter. Now, in my case, I actually mounted the microphone over to a microphone arm because I wanted to be able to swivel the microphone around and to be able to be a little bit more stable than what you get with the standard stand that comes with it. But the stand that comes with it is certainly still fine, and it's very doable for somebody that maybe hasn't gotten a microphone arm yet. So moving on to the design, I actually really like this design. Uh, it really fits the aesthetic of just what you would expect with a nice gaming microphone. Obviously, the first thing you're going to notice are these RGB lights, and they actually look very good. It cycles through quite a bit of colors, and speaking of the actual colors, you can actually get a different colored microphone than what you would normally get. Like, for example, there's the standard black, I have the white model here, I believe there's a pink, and maybe one other color as well. So, there are definitely a lot of different options to help fit whatever is the desk aesthetic that you have going on for your own setup. It has a quick and very intuitive mute control where right at the top there's just a giant tap button that you can just cleanly tap and doesn't actually need you to press into a button or anything like that. It's just purely touch sensitive and so you just tap that. It physically mutes the mic and so you're able to quickly mute it without having to search for settings on whatever app that you're streaming or recording on. Now this mic does also have very good sound quality. This is the mic that I am using for this video, so you can pretty much treat this whole video as a mic test. And be sure to check out some of my other videos where you'll see some of the differences in the sound quality between some of my older mics and this brand new Fine Fine A8. This does also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to allow you to actually monitor the real time audio with a pair of headphones. This is especially helpful for streamers because you're able to basically monitor and make sure that the audio that you're outputting is coming out very nice, crisp, and clear. This is a great mic when it comes to the sound quality, and it does a very good job of cutting out the background noise. You don't have to seclude yourself into a very quiet area of the house. This actually does a very good job of cutting out some of the extra noise and where it's really only trying to pick up the audio from right in front of the microphone. Now, while this mic isn't perfect, there are two things that I found that I'm just not a super big fan of. But before I get into those things, I do want to remind you to hit that like and subscribe button. That is the biggest way that you can help support this channel. And be sure to check out some of our other videos. We have playlists for the MCU, DCU, any kind of game reviews. So there is sure to be something on this channel that you might enjoy. Now, like I said, I have two issues with the mic. One is actually really minor, which I'll just get into right now. Uh, the pop filter, while it is a nice metal pop filter, it does have this fine, fine logo, which is their smiley face, and it's not my favorite thing in the world. Now, something that I've noticed on some of the older microphones is that the smiley face is a lot more pronounced, and in this case, it's actually really good. It's a very muted color, and I actually had to go out of my way to look for it, so I essentially just noticed it about a day or two after I started using the microphone. That said, however, I do wish that it was just a standard pop filter, or they at least included an option uh, in the packaging to include a pop filter with the logo on it and a pop filter without. But honestly, like I said, you are not even really going to notice, and depending on how your mic is set up, the people that are actually watching your videos and seeing you use the microphone, they're not going to see that smiley face either, so it's really kind of a personal issue. But my bigger critique is with the gain volume control knob. So this does actually have a physical gain control knob to where I can physically adjust the gain volume when I'm recording and it does it all in real time. My problem, however, is that it's on the back of the microphone and you literally have to always turn around and look behind the microphone to not only see what level that you started at, but what level you want to get it to. And so I just kind of think that was a little bit of a missed opportunity to maybe put it at the top of the microphone and maybe put the mute button 
uh, a little bit more obvious somewhere else uh, or you know maybe move the gain control a little bit off to the side so you don't have to literally look all the way around the back but once you find a good gain level that you are happy with and that you're comfortable with, then you can really just set that setting and only come back to it when you actually need to adjust it later on. Depending on your setup, this isn't really something that you're going to have to change very often. And so it might also be a very small minuscule issue for yourself as well. That said, I think that this is a great microphone and honestly the best budget microphone that you could pick up. Of course, there are a lot more expensive options, but this is also a great way to elevate your audio setup for whether you're a gaming streamer, you're using this for Zoom calls, you're using this for YouTube videos like we're doing here. And so this really is a great way to elevate that to a more professional sounding level and add to the aesthetic feel with the RGB lights on it as well. Now I'll have the affiliate link so you can pick up this microphone down below where you'll see the current pricing for it. And if you stuck around for this long, be sure to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. And if you liked this video, I have a feeling you're really going to like this video right here. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.